So uh, cool. Great view on your screen. Uh, that's from a camera behind Bob and Doug. Bob sitting in the right hand as we see him. Dragon in 2.5, uh, 10 successful rate checks. Dragon SpaceX, we see the same. Thank you. So there's confirmation of uh, a couple of great milestones. Ford hatch is closed, suit donning is complete. We just completed suit leak checks. All everything nominal. And Doug just raising their visors, uh, get a little bit more comfortable. I love this view because it makes me feel like I'm in the back seat of Crew Dragon, just going along for the ride. Uh, we did have, as you mentioned, a pass hatch closure during that brief video, as well as the beginning of suit leak checks. Uh, I've got a few milestones coming up. Next, we'll be looking for that vestibule depressurization, bringing that space down to a vacuum. That should be happening very shortly, hopefully within the next five minutes, actually. Yeah, so again, on your screen, left-hand side is uh, spacecraft commander Doug Hurley. Right-hand side is uh, spacecraft pilot Bob Benkin, and also joint operations commander. Uh, in front of them are the three touchscreen displays in the Dragon spacecraft. And uh, with suit leak checks complete, the next major milestone, as you mentioned, Leah, is vestibule depressurization. So you can see they're uh, checking out all their screens. The crew will actually be monitoring during the departure portion of the flight. Um, on the way up, they had a couple of opportunities to perform some manual flight tests by piloting the vehicle and uh, checking those out and uh, you know, seeing how it would fly if you ever had to. But fortunately, it uh, is an autonomous vehicle. So the goal is that the astronauts are along for the ride, there to monitor and there to step in in case anything were to go wrong. But it should be an autonomous flight home. We're not stopping for any of those uh, flight tests along the way. That's right. Dragon SpaceX, all Vehicle hooks separation. open and nominal. All hooks open. Dragon departing. Dragon SpaceX, separation confirmed. Okay, separation confirmed. Great Burns, physical separation, 4.35 p.m. Pacific. Thrusters looking good, counting down to a nominal departure burn zero coming up shortly. Thanks, Gary. Departure burn zero sets Crew Dragon, Endeavor, and Bob and Doug on their journey home. Dragon ship Endeavor is now on a trajectory to head up and over the station before additional maneuvers will change its orbital path to take it below and in front of the station. Dragon will autonomously accomplish that through three additional departure burns, with that next one coming up in just a couple of minutes to get Bob Hurley, Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley well away from the space station and on their way home. Beautiful view, uh, just had a beautiful view there of the relative navigation center, sensors uh, providing an infrared view of the International Space Station as Bob and Doug drift away from it. And uh, of course, as they are drifting away, going into that slightly higher orbit, uh, just because of balancing the force of gravity along with their centripetal acceleration, they will move a little bit slower than the space station. And so we'll expect Space Station to sort of drift ahead, and then as they conduct those additional burns, getting out of the approach ellipsoid uh, and the keep-out sphere, then uh, they will come back down below sta Space Station, with their apogee being about 10 kilometers below Space Station and, and slowly reducing their perigee. Next up in just a couple of minutes. Uh All right, really good news there. We have come out of the blackout period, and we have reestablished connection with Dragon Endeavor with NASA astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley on board. We were able to reacquire that communication a little bit earlier than expected. And now we are just waiting. We should just be about two and a half minutes away from that initial drogue shoot deploy. Yeah, two minutes and 26 seconds. A GPS has converged. Copy that. 
You may have heard earlier that Bob and Doug are currently experiencing 3.5 Gs. Not too bad, that's about what they pulled during the ascent phase. Just like a mild roller coaster. So the vehicle is now over the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, it is approaching the landing zone uh, off the coast of Florida near Pensacola. And there we have our first shot. There it is, this, the first view from the WB-57 airplane. It is dipping in and out a little bit. This is gonna be an infrared camera showing us Dragon re-entering. We have that comm back with Bob and Doug. Uh, you heard AGPS is converging, uh, Dragon has uh, three GPS units that it uses uh, actually in the parachute deployment process uh, as it helps uh, along with the pressure sensors really give a solid altitude to the flight computers on when these are supposed to deploy. It's a brace for drogue window. Captain, you were braced about 14 kilometers in altitude, 8.4 miles, continuing to descend. There on your screen, we have a shot of the capsule as it is preparing to deploy those initial parachutes, the drogue parachutes. Again, these parachutes help slow the vehicle down even further and help stabilize in preparation for main chute deployment. Right about now, the capsule is going about 400 miles per hour, decelerating quickly. And standing by for drogue deploys. Visual, two drogues out. There on your screen, we have visual confirmation of those two drogue deployments. Happy do drogue. All right, so two of two, the drogues now out. They're gonna do their slowing and stabilizing of the Dragon spacecraft. They should be detaching in just a few moments, and then we'll see four parachutes, the main parachutes deployed. Dragon under drogues. Drogue descent rate nominal. The expected descent rate, the expected velocity under the drogues nominal. We're right at around 150 miles an hour and already dropping. You can see the drogues now detach. And there we have confirmation of deployment of the four main parachutes. We are visual on four chutes out. We are visual. Four main parachutes deployed. Four main. So at this point, the main parachutes have deployed. They are inflating, as you can see there on your screen, continuing to slow Dragon down significantly. We are anticipating splashdown in just under two minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, we've already slowed the vehicle down to about 16 miles an hour. It's already less than a kilometer in altitude. Main chute descent rate nominal, passing through 700 meters. So at this point, Dragon has saved all propulsion systems on 600 board. 600 meters. 600 meters. And we're 600 meters above the Gulf of Mexico. Should be approximately a minute 30 from splashdown. Mission Control Team here in Hawthorne has reported the precise landing coordinates to the recovery team. They are standing by, ready to go get our space dads. We 
just passed about 300 meters. One minute till splashdown. Two hundred meters. We have brace for splashdown. Copy brace for splashdown. So there we heard Bob and Doug reporting that they are bracing for a splashdown. We should be able to see uh, the Gulf of Mexico here in the shot just momentarily, as we're now just about twenty meters off the ocean. Splashdown. As you can see on your screen, we have visual confirmation for splashdown. SpaceX copies and concurs. We see splashdown and mains cut. Dragon Endeavor has returned home. NASA astronauts and Bob Endeavor and Doug. On behalf of the SpaceX and NASA teams, welcome back to planet Earth and thanks for flying SpaceX. <laughs> It was truly our honor and privilege to fly the flight of the uh, Crew Dragon and Endeavor. Congratulations, everybody at SpaceX. Uh, all good, and we're uh, into section of four decimal eight zero zero. Thanks for those words, Doug, and we uh, copy that you are into uh, four decimal eight zero zero. So great news all around there. Our space dads are back on Earth after a 19-hour return journey from space. Dragon Endeavor has splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico, just off the coast of Pensacola, Florida. And on your screen there, you can see our two fast boats, and they are indeed fast, <laughs> racing out to greet Dragon Endeavor as uh, it sits there. The first on there, we can see a view inside the capsule. Bob and Doug looking good. Although the communication was a little choppy, we did Space hear. X, uh, Endeavor in three decimal one, we show ourselves in stable one. And uh, they're going to get checked out now by the NASA medical team. They're going straight into the medical quarters on board the ship. That'll be their first stop on planet Earth. And then they're going to be making their way up into a helicopter and then heading back to dry land. So uh, once they're complete, the team's going to prepare Dragon itself. Uh, and they're going to begin uh, taking it back to shore. Uh, but just, it's been an incredible, incredible mission. Uh, this all kicked off just two months ago on May 30th from Launch Pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. We had a successful liftoff. We had to dodge around some weather. It was suspenseful, clearing up the last possible moment. They had a flawless ride to orbit, a 19-hour journey to the International Space Station, where they just spent 62 days on board, 64 total days in space. They were Expedition 30, 63 crew members doing science experiments, spacewalks, repairs, everything on board the orbiting laboratory. Their journey home began yesterday when they closed the hatch to Dragon and undocked hours later at 4.35 p.m. Pacific. And we're going to continue to share the progress of Bob and Doug's trip back to Houston on social media. We also have a briefing coming up real soon. It's going to include NASA Administrator uh, Jim Bridenstein and officials from NASA and SpaceX. That's coming up right at the bottom of the hour, 1.30 p.m. Pacific, 4.30 p.m. Eastern, 2030 GMT. So we're going to say thanks one more time for tuning in, cheering on Bob and Doug as they return home. And we'll see you next time when we'll once again be sending astronauts on American rockets in American spacecraft from American soil. So long.